we now tackle magnetism and gauss's law we we were first introduced to the gauss's law when we were doing the electrostatics okay and what did we see there what we saw there was something like this say if there is a charge here if there is say a positive charge here then what happens then what happens its electric field is represented something like that right and what did we say if we make a closed surface around it and by closed surface we mean something something that is that is solid right so so this is solid solid okay so so it may be maybe a maybe a pitcher kind of thing or but a closed surface right maybe a football which is perfectly spherical but there is no there is no constraint on the shape of the object of the of the closed surface it can be any any irregular sh irregularly shaped thing right so so if it is like that the gauss's law said that if you find the if this is the surface one then e dot ds e dot ds over the surface is q enclosed upon epsilon not where here my q is this the charge is plus q the same if if q and by q q enclosed it also means any other charges that are enclosed by this right let us say instead of this we had a dipole so so we had a dipole there there was a negative charge here and there was a positive charge here then we know how to make the make the electric field it it actually originates from the positive charge terminates on the negative charge right and say something like this say something like this say something like this something like this okay and then what happens <coughs> here it is outward here it is outward here it is inward inward okay like that now if i make a surface surface somewhere here let us say say here this is a 3d surface right so and and an enclosed one so maybe say something like that now what happens whatever is entering this whatever line enters this also leaves it okay whatever line enters it leaves it what had happened here there is a net leaving off right there is net leaving of the lines so it seems as if out of this surface something is radiating out is it not something is radiating out uh, out of this here what is hap happening on this surface on say surface 2 what is happening there is no net leaving or entering the surface no net line is leaving or entering the surface whatever is entering is leaving now that tells me that e dot ds has to be zero e dot ds is equal to zero here for surface 2 why why that 
because it 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 means it, it is not containing any net charge and and it is absolutely readily visible that it is not containing any charge the charges are here there is a minus q here and a plus q here in contrast if i had made a surface somewhere here surface number 3 then what would have happened there is a net influx see from the left also there are lines entering from the right also there are lines entering so there is a net influx of charge uh, of lines there okay and what happens e dot ds for the third will be will be will be minus q upon epsilon not and indeed the indeed the indeed the indeed it is it is actually it is actually enclosing a charge minus q do we understand the same thing here if the, this was surface 4 okay this was surface 4 then what happens e dot ds for surface 4 is equal to q upon epsilon naught correct now the thing becomes radically different the moment you switch to switch to a magnetic field so what happens in a magnetic field let the, the first trouble with the magnetic field is what this you do not have magnetic monopole the first trouble is this we do not have magnetic monopoles so we have magnetic dipoles always howsoever we have seen we keep on cutting the same magnet smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller what happens it still develops a north and a south pole right you'll never have just the north pole in the magnet so that is the first point of departure and then then there is a second point of departure what is that so we have our magnet we have our fields like that inside the magnet it goes like this this is my north pole this is my south pole okay comes like this Again, from here, right? From here, again, it might go something like this out, but from here, it has to come in, correct? this is not an open loop what has happened it 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 will take a bigger circle and come back through this right same with this so there is a continuation okay and so on and so forth so this goes out and this is a circle with with infinity radius so it is coming back from infinity that's why it is shown as a straight line and maybe another okay consider that they are all not overlapping not crisscrossing because they never do okay now what happens the moment i draw a gaussian surface here so say i draw a surface like this you see the number of lines this line entered here this line entered here exited here right the second line entered here exited where it exited here the third one exited enter, entered here exited there fourth entered exited fifth entered exited sixth entered exited no this uh, uh, this fine so you'll see whatever enters also leaves and you draw it anywhere so so let it be fifth let's let this be sixth so what should be b dot ds if if there is no net entry and, and you just draw it anywhere i'm not saying 
on this pole or that pole or or outside or inside wherever you try to draw say say here what happens whatever is entering is leaving and what is b dot ds or e dot ds e dot ds was what it is the net lines which are entering so what is the net line that is entering or leaving zero so what should be b dot ds it should be zero. So Gauss's law for magnetism actually becomes actually becomes this. The right hand side will always go down to zero. What is the reason? What is the reason? If somehow you name this magnetic monopole QM, then there is a corresponding minus QM which is residing here. If you consider that this magnet is cut like that, then there has to be a negative here and plus QM minus QM. Ideally, it should have been what? What the what is the electrostatic? What is the magnetic analog? How would I how would I have converted? I E becomes B, DS remains the same, Q becomes magnetic, one upon epsilon naught becomes mu naught. So it is QM enclosed and what is the net magnetic magnetic charge enclosed always zero always zero you'll not be you might think that positive is here and negative is sitting here no because this itself this length of magnet in itself has a positive magnet uh, has a positive monopole and a negative monopole and what happens? They add up. Okay. So that's why this is always zero. Fine. That is the Gauss's law of magnetism for that, that is the Gauss's law for the magnetism. The right hand side B dot ds is always equal to zero. Fine. And this happens due to two things. Why has it happened? Hmm? RHS is zero due to the following number one no monopoles exist and the second is magnetic field lines magnetic field lines always form a loop they always form a loop so whatever has gone has to come back okay if, if it was not forming a loop see here in, in electric electric fields they do not form a loop you see that they are not forming a loop. It is all radiating from the same point. Here it is. So, so that is the that, that is one of the primary difference between the magnetic field and the electric field. Because here, here there is all net radiation. Here it is not. Outside it goes from north to south pole. Inside the magnet, it comes from south to north. So it has to form a loop. Due to this, you get the net electric field lines being zero. Fine. 